All right. On today's show, we've got the Fitchburg Digest. Uh, we've got, just in case you missed it, today right. we do that on Fridays of every week. And then uh, our guest today is uh, the director of the public Fitchburg Public Library. Fantastic. It's Wendy. Sweet. And uh, then we have your PB&J as well. And I've got this day in history in there today. Baller. Uh, something, nice. something key to the Madison, downtown Madison, oh. started today. Is it the key history. to the city? I cannot tell you that. Okay, we'll get <laughs> to it. It's not the key. City. But it, 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 it has everything to do when you think of Madison. Okay. Happened today. I love it. June the Isthmus. Mm-hmm. Nope, Isthmus. So <laughs> <laughs> the land became uh, the I Isthmus. Can't, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yep, somebody in uh, 20 BC <laughs> determined Madison, Wisconsin. Yeah. That's right. Uh, well, we'll work on Andrew's <laughs> history. Uh, in the meantime, let's start off with some headlines this morning. And... Uh, we have a good one for you. Yesterday was the Senior Housing Expo. That's right. It uh, was held right here at the Community Center, and uh, Mr. Andrew Bamlett had a chance to go out and visit, uh, and this is what he found. Well, we're having our first annual senior housing event here at Fitchburg. It was organized by uh, the Fitchburg Senior Center, uh, Jill and David, and um, Sarah Sigel from the Waterford, and I are also part of the uh, uh, committee that organized the event. Uh, we started in January and uh, made a determination that we wanted to center the event on housing here in Fitchburg. I do seminars called Downsizing Made Easy, and so many individuals at the seminar will ask me questions and uh, that, that really hit on all the different booths that are here today. And so we thought, instead of trying to take an individual to all of the different communities and teach them what's available, that maybe we could bring all of the available resources here and uh, people could go around and, and see what's available for housing here in Fitchburg. Well, we have uh, obviously real estate services for selling a home. Uh, I work very closely with move managers who help an older adult um, organize their belongings to figure out what they need to donate, what they need to sell, that sort of thing. Uh, the move manager helps them pack it and put it on a moving truck and move it, and they unpack it. That's also something that is needed. Um, in addition to that, we have uh, a booth for uh, uh, like a place for mom. They are a resource for an individual who maybe has to go to an assisted living um, or uh, an independent community, but they don't know what's available and they can only afford a certain amount. Um, so that's handled by a place for mom. We also have some home health services where people want to stay in their home. They want to stay independent, and we encourage that. But they may need to have help uh, for health care purposes. And um, so we have those booths here. We have, um, there's a Grace and St. Mary Care Center are also here. A Grace is the hospice center. And um, uh, they, of course, provide home care. And um, we also have the fire department here. There's a great resource by the fire department. Um, the uh, requirement of smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors, uh, they uh, are here because the fire department will install the smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors to older adults in the community. Uh, you buy them, they install them, and I believe they're giving away 50 of them here today. In addition to the hall having uh, booths and displays, um, there are concurrent seminars going on. So I just finished one, uh, so I haven't been here for an hour because I was doing a seminar on downsizing because a lot of people aren't used All to All right, the uh, there is a quick look at the Senior Housing, housing Expo, uh, the full version. And we're going to put that up on Facebook later right. today, so uh, you can check out the full version of that Senior Expo. This is but, how uh, busy we are today. We can't finish a package <laughs> that we yesterday. There's so, so many things to get to today. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll have that uh, posted up later on for you to watch. There you go. Preston. All right. So looking at it here, so this weekend you have available to you the flea market. In McGaw Park, Jeremy. Did you know about this? Oh, I know about this. This thing goes on from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, on e it's every Sunday morning, and you can check it out at McGaw Park. So feel free to head on down there and see what kind of wares they have. Yeah, it's going to be cool. There you go.
Yeah, I heard it's really popular. Very popular. It is. So uh, lots of stuff well going attended. on there. Check it there out. Go. All right, this weekend I saw a sign for this out on uh, McKee Road, and so I did some lookup on this, and uh, uh-huh. the Soapbox Derby is this weekend. Oh, right. Hey-o. Yeah, right? So uh, your location right here on Research Park Drive on Saturday and Sunday here. Well, uh, basically, I, and maybe for you Soapbox Derby racers. Uh, or followers, you know, here's what it says for the divisions. Okay. S-T-S-S-M-S-S-K-S-T-S-S-S-M-S-S-K. Of course, of course. Of course, yeah, yeah. the uh, yeah. ST race is this weekend, so uh, look out for that. I like that. All right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, it's my favorite race. <laughs> this is nationally, like, this group is a national yep. group, so right. yep. uh, check it out if you have a chance on Research Park Drive uh, on Saturday. So yep. there you go. There you go. The All-American Soapbox Derby. Right. Ba-boom. Splash pad, it's open, Jeremy. It's warm enough today. It's warm that enough. You could go on and go out there and do this. Yeah, you should. You should get out there and you should do that. What do you think? Do you think people should do that? <laughs> if they had the chance. We had a chance to talk with uh, Jorn yesterday oh. uh, from uh, the uh, the old Parks and Recs department. That's right. And he gave us an update on uh, kind of what happened there, uh, and now that we're up back up and running. Uh, when we started up the system, um, we found that there were two leaks in the system and uh, um, it rep- uh, the first one went into the tank so we were unable to fill the the surge tank that you know where the system gets the water from and then uh, the other one was actually the the buckets the, the fill and spill buckets um, and that one turned out to be under the concrete so we had to keep the system shut down during repairs so we could uh, tear out concrete and and fix the broken pipe um, the the brakes were due to frost heaving the ground, you know, through the freeze and thaw cycle throughout the winter. So um, that's what caused both brakes. Yep, it was a uh, it was kind of a fight, but it turned out well. So that's good. We visited every day. Uh, we we get there in the morning, usually around eight o'clock, and then we um, uh, clean everything up, clean up, you know, the whole deck, empty trash. Um, and then we have to do backwashing of the filters, check all the chemicals, um, clean the clean the filters in the in the drains, things like that. And then we also are required to visit it four times a day to test the water. So um, we do two of them, and then the recreation department also tests the water twice, and many other times actually throughout the day also to make sure everything's running well. So um, it's kind of a tricky system. You got to make sure a lot of moving parts and things that, that are all going well. It's, it's a great, a great attraction. It gets very busy, especially on a nice hot day. Typically it's Memorial Day to Labor Day is the season. The hours are 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week. As long as everything's running good, it'll be open. So there you go. Make sure to head on down to the splash pad. Check that thing out. Always super fun. And there's always a lot of cool kids down there hanging out. So join them. <laughs> join them. Be one of the cool kids oh, at the splash pad. There no you go. peer pressure from Preston here this morning. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, switching gears here this morning. Uh, notice of open book. Uh, the notice of open book and board review uh, will be starting next week. Uh, and you're looking at statue 70.45 the assessment rule will be open for examination during the weekday business hours starting monday june 13th through friday june 17th 7 30 a.m to 5 o'clock p.m the notice is also hereby given that the board of review for the city of fitchburg will be held on july 20th at 9 a.m in the meeting room at the fitchburg uh, city hall Uh, that's here you can't miss it don't miss it your chance to come in, check it out, and then if you want to take it to the board, you'll have your chance take in it to the board. July. So I added that to our calendar this morning. Fantastic. It can be a full day event or it can be short. You never know. You never know. You never know, Jeremy. All right, here is something I do know is that Dane County has marked the start of summer with five free weekends of park fun. So uh, basically they said the start of uh, warm weather and the end of school creates perfect opportunity for families to get outside and enjoy the Dane County parks. Uh, So to exemplify the wide range of activities the county's more than 30 parks have to offer, Dane County is featuring a five free weekends of park fun starting with disc golf and bike trail riding this weekend. 
And then as well, this weekend on June 11th, they have lake access, so they'll, you'll be able to go out to some of the lakes. Uh, and they have now uh, improved boat launches at Babcock County Park, Fish Camp County Park, and Goodland County Park, and Lake Farm County Park. That's that's right over here. June 18th, uh, they have some available, or they have free weekends at the dog parks. Uh, June 25th, mountain biking. Uh, Dane County Mountain Biking Facility is available at Badger Prairie, Cam Rock, and Capital Springs Recreation Area. That's in Seminole Hills. And then July 2nd is Tenny Lock Day. That's to mark the start of the 4th of July holiday weekend. So there you go. If you want any more information about these activities or other Dane County, Park, Dane County Parks information, you can go to countyofdane.com. Check it out. There you go. That is your headlines for this beautiful June 10th morning. Coming up next, we're going to open up the digest with just in case you missed it right here on Talking Fitchburg.